Hi, in this tutorial we're going to have a quick look at uh, a picture of a boat in Almouth Harbour up in Northumberland and we're going to do one of those sort of faded pastiche kind of vintage looking shots where um, we had a bit of um, split toning to it or whatever they call it, yeah split toning and the the colours in the photo themselves are quite, um, quite muted so uh, we'll have a yellow in the highlights and a blue in the in the lower tones. So first off let's have a look at our histogram. So we've got quite a nice spread here. It was a good day in that everything, I mean I think I was using a filter over the top of here. So I've kept the exposure within the, the histogram. So what we can do is maybe just see what happens if we play around with the highlights a bit. So you can see it's bringing down those bright tones and maybe open up the shadows a little bit because if you're having a faded effect lighter shadows might help okay you can see what that's done the uh, just so it's bring everything close together and let's just add in a little bit of white just to press in the alt key there just to make it go black when I do that and maybe just add back in detail in the blacks yeah, so if you look at that, I think that's a good start point. Now, because it's a vintage one, I'm going to put negative clarity in. Give it that softer kind of look to it. So maybe about minus 30. If you add a positive, you see what it does. It makes everything a bit more punchy, which is what a lot of people want. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to take it down. And let's just go for a low saturation. Maybe take it down to minus 50 ish so it's gone nice and cool and uh, um, pretty desaturated <laughs> now we can take a white balance if we wanted to now if you take a white balance from something in the shade let's do it from here so press W to get your white balance tool up and click on it if it's in the shade it's probably going to warm things up a bit because the light in the shade will be cooler usually and if we took the white balance from here, that hasn't made a great deal difference. It can make a big difference in the uh, depending on which shot you go for. So, how do we go about adding duotones to this? Well, Lightroom's got this very cool panel here called Split Toning. In the old days I used to sit here dragging the saturation and the hue slides up and down trying to work out what I wanted but I then realised this little box here if you click on it you can you just get this little tool and look it'll add you toning for you any colour in the RGB spectrum so how powerful is that so on these vintage sort of uh, looking shots uh, a light splattering of yellow in the um, highlights and in the low lights maybe a bit of blue like that and there you go you've got something pretty instantly which looks kind of vintage if you go too far it starts to look a bit a bit fake well not fake but you know a bit overdone which we'd like to avoid so what else could you do whilst you're in there probably enable your profile corrections possibly have a little bit of a vignette just to a bit more of that sort of vintage Holger look about it. It's not. It works okay with this sky, which is good. Um, let's have a quick look up. We've done the highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, clarity, vibrance. I don't really see any need to use a tone curve, but if you wanted to say brighten something, up, maybe the top of this boat a little bit, and you can grab hold of it with your little little direct point adjustment tool. And grab all these spot, and maybe if you wanted to bring the, the shadows down a bit for any particular reason, you could do it like that. So pretty quickly, you've gone from, you know, a, a normal sort of uh, overcast day in Northumberland to something pretty uh, vintage looking. So I hope that helps. I think I'd do anything else on there. No. Okay. Thanks for watching.